Hello, you're back here with more wine again. Today we're going to focus on a recipe called spaghetti squash. Now this is a good recipe for those of you who do not eat bread. This would be a good substitute. We're going to actually replace the bread with squash. Now what you're going to want to do is take your squash, you're going to cut it in half long ways. Inside is going to be seeds. You want to gut them out, slightly grease the pan with canola oil or olive oil is my preference, and put them face down on the pan. Preheat your oven to 350 and when the oven is ready, put it right on in. Alright now, while that squash cooks in the oven, we're going to add some desired ingredients. I here I have tomato, one and a half cups, a medium onion, again both the tomato and the medium onion are both uh, sliced and diced, I have minced garlic, and we have some basil. What we're going to do here first, we're going to bring the heat of the pan to a medium heat, make sure you have it lightly oiled with olive oil, and we're going to add the desired garlic. I usually don't do more than a teaspoon. Then we're going to stir in the onions. And we're going to let those brown a little bit. Now as these brown, you're going to want to mix the onions in evenly with the garlic before you throw in the tomatoes. The tomatoes are going to be our last topping that we throw pan at least. Here's what we have thus far. And then in time, it'll be time to take out the squash. Set that aside to cool off. So by this time, our squash is ready. We're going to pull it out and set it aside and let it cool down. Now that the squash is ready, we're going to take our spoon and pour it. You can actually even serve this in the squash if you like to see. As we shred the squash, it comes out like spaghetti strings. What we're going to do is pick up our squash, add our tomato, add our basil. Now you have a pretty dish. And if you like, you can add your toppings and use it as a substitute for spaghetti. Put spaghetti sauce on the top. And now you have two very tasty options for this spaghetti squash. Whatever you choose, I hope you enjoy.